the past two years, India has been pushing for global regulations on cryptocurrencies. Even as Bitcoin prices crashed last year after zooming to $64,000, the finance minister and the RBI have been highlighting what a threat the unregulated digital currencies could be. According to highly placed sources, the G20 leader summit is expected to take up discussions on the way forward for regulating cryptocurrencies. The synthesis paper prepared by the IMF and the Financial Stability Board has laid down a comprehensive roadmap on building blocks for regulating these assets. This will now be taken up for further discussion at the summit this weekend and there are indications that a consensus is in sight. India's presidency has put on table in the G20 issues related to regulating or understanding that there should be a framework for handling issues related to crypto assets. Active discussions are happening. Content-rich papers from institutions like IMF, FSB, OECD are all being discussed on various issues and on crypto, IMF and FSB have also given their synthesis paper. There is also likely to be forward movement on reforms and strengthening of multilateral banks, in particular the recommendation on the capital adequacy framework. There is also growing support for overall reform of NDBs to articulate the voice of Global South. There has also been progress on the use of digital public infrastructure for financial inclusion. India is the co-chair of the Financial Inclusion Action Plan along with Italy and will give policy guidelines for G20 financial inclusion initiatives for a three-year period from 2024 to 2026. Importantly, discussions will also be held on managing global debt vulnerability, which has been a key agenda of India's G20 presidency. Debt vulnerability of three countries, including Zambia, Ghana and Ethiopia, has been addressed under the Common Framework for Debt Treatment. Sri Lanka's death restructuring is being done outside the framework. Similarly, global debt distress. Countries are in deep distress. Not just le uh, less developed countries, but middle income countries as well. That affects the global financial architecture as well. Even discussions on debt distress under Indian presidency are happening in the G20 seeking global collaboration. However, differences remain in certain areas, especially tying up climate issues to debt restructuring is registering some pushback from China. Similarly, there has not been agreement with Russia on the issue of assessing the macroeconomic consequences of food and energy security. With Karishma Sudani, Bureau Report, Business Today Television. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.